Right, okay. Let's have a look. I think I've taken the screws off. So let's see if we can somehow get in here. Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right. Uh, are they sealed? Ooh. Now the reason I'm taking it apart is for doing a video about it. It's interesting. All oh, right. Okay. It's all plastic so far. Plastic. Um, I noticed with the electronics and mobile phones as well, where they used to press the buttons, there was quite a lot of gold in the early ones, and then it got less and less. And now you can't really. Oh, the back comes off. Um, now there's not really much gold in there if any at all so as technology is going along um there's less and less sort of bits they still got to have you know certain things to uh make it work obviously but it's just going at such a fast pace that um yeah you never know with what you're going to find and because this is older I just wondered what would be in there. Um, yeah, we've got a CD in there. That's all right. Obviously, couldn't come out. So we got that at the moment. Okay. Right, we've got the CD player. So what I like about this is that it doesn't look as though at the moment it's got any torque screws on it. It's just been um, flips, which, as we all know, is quite a nice thing to have. Quite a bit of plastic on the CD. CD is still in there. Um, everything's just plastic that I can see at the moment. Yeah, we've got a motherboard, but there's nothing to really right home about. I haven't got my glasses on. As I always say, I know, I should wear my glasses. So that doesn't, that's nothing really to write home about. So now that's the top side. This is underneath. We've just taken the motherboard off there. Okay, or like that, whatever it was there. Got a tiny little motherboard there. There's all sorts going on here. Let's take these four screws out. Ah, this is the the laser part that reads the um, yeah the CD that you put in. So at the moment, not a lot going on there. Two little motors there. So I assume if we got a motor, that means copper. That can be taken apart. Let's get the beast. Here we go. Right, the workings all plastic, all the cogs, touch of metal there. Oh, that's what's holding it in. Right. See if we can uh, rip him out and see what he is. There we go. Jobs are good done. Right, more plastic. Don't get me started on plastic. I think that is one of those motors. I don't know whether you can see it. Blurred. Yeah. Um. It might have the candy copper in it. We'll take that apart. And... Right. Ooh. Okay. We have a transformer. More 
well they are motherboards but they're brown so they're low low grade take some screws out see where we are right okay low grade board absolutely diddly squat on that side um, it's just the usual really on this side there's a couple of bits of two bits of copper there and there um, batteries antenna a bit of stainless oh there's copper inside the stainless or I think that's stainless hang on no that's steel bit of copper in there um, there's not much on it at all right got the carcass off it transformer all that is copper plating it goes all the way around now the copper inside is covered by red tape so until I open this I won't know whether it's any good or whether it's pants oh and this black box I'll call it a box um, I don't know let's just have a try and get into it sometimes yes they got copper in and i've been really surprised other times they might be like ah hang on yeah here we go so whenever i see a black box i always um clip it at the top just to see what's going on and can you see if i put that yeah that's all the copper there. It may not look much. We've got a copper, two copper um, connectors. Hopefully you can see all that in the light and against my sleeve. So that's why I always open those uh, black boxes. Um, sometimes they are just solid and I don't understand what's in there. But um, I've had quite a good um, return on the majority of them. So we'll see what, yeah, what makes that work. And uh, we'll take it to bits now and we'll see what we can find. Right, okay, it's all apart. Um, yeah, I thought being older that there would have been, yeah, it would have been a bit more interesting, but, um, it was, it was all right to take part. It was quite interesting as always. Enjoyed it. What more do I want? I'll bring you down to the bench and then we can go through what we actually got from it. Okay. Right. Let's hope that holds. Right, we'll start with the shred. That's all the shred. Lots and lots of screws, springs, just, yeah, everything. Um, different types of cable. I'm not gonna be able to take everything apart in this uh, video, so it's just giving you a general outline. Cause it's like those things um, that read the, uh, the cassette players. So we got various types of yeah wire whatever so that can be that can go on my boredom box or one of them and that can be sorted out another time um got a bit of aluminium can't complain at that put that in the alley uh, a couple of transformers but again i don't know how what is going to be in there until i take them apart whether it's going to be cheap copper or whether it's going to be copper copper so hopefully copper with the uh, transformers and those that was from the black box the copper 
and those two bits came off one of the uh, motherboards. So we've got some copper there. Um, oh, let's chuck that in there. All there. Right, we've got three motors, but like I showed you, the that motor inside, that's got blue uh, copper. So until I open them up, I, well, we don't know what's going to be in there, what type of copper, but that's three. And then we have all the low-grade motherboards. Um, I will go through them because there's a little bit, I'll take it off now actually. There's a little bit of copper on it, nothing to write home about. Um, there's bits and pieces that I can see that uh, would be okay. Uh, put that on there. Um, but nothing that's uh, as good as I thought it would be. So it's just going to take me time to go through it and um, sort it out. CD, I don't know whether it's palladium, platinum that they get that off. I don't know, whatever. So it's sort of interesting because I thought there would be a lot more in it um, being what I thought an old machine. But it turned out to be um, not a lot really, but um, interesting. Uh, we'll see what copper I get out of there, but it's not going to be a huge amount with, you know, five, five tiny motors and, yeah, the transformer and what have you, or transformers. But I just wanted to see whether age had anything to do with it and whether there would be, if I say, more goodies in there because of the age of it. But, um... No, there weren't. I, I suppose it's a bit like when I tried when I started my channel, I took apart an amplifier and something else. Can't remember, and there wasn't a, wasn't much in there, and um, they were thirty years old. So, yeah, it's it's interesting how technology is coming along, and what they're finding instead of gold and you know other precious metals, to make things work so um yeah i enjoyed it um so that's taken apart some sort of cd cassette radio player for you so yeah um there's not much in it not much value is it uh, worth taking apart oh it's a hobby isn't it it's we got the cable, we got the plug, got bits and bobs, enjoyed myself. Surely that's worth taking apart. Um, if you want to be a millionaire, well, yeah, <laughs> take something else apart. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Anyway, see you on the next one. That's what was inside. Okay, thanks very much. Bye now.